Alright, I'm gonna regret this. New game. I'm gonna start completely over, even though I can did continue from my last save. Because it's a lot better with people. Also, I'm gonna turn off my fan for maximum immersion. I'm gonna have no sound coming from anywhere else in my room but this. Bedtime. Bedtime is supposed to be a happy event for a tired child. For me, it was terrifying. While some children might complain about being put to bed before they have finished watching a film or playing their favorite video game, when I was a child, last night time was something to, to truly fear. Somewhere in the back of my mind, it still is. This is me. Alright. So I can pretty much... It's a wolf. Mr. Teddy. Full of toys and stuff. Push from a movie. I got it from my brother. It's a bunk bed. I sleep in the top. So, apparently, this has actually been, like, acclaimed by a lot of YouTubers and shit like that to be really fucking scary. Like, it's been... It's been talked about with Markiplier, I think. Um, I know a couple of different YouTubers have done it. So, I'm doing it now. Because why the fuck not? I hate myself. Things like this get super scary. Exactly. I cannot prove that what happened to me was objectively real. But I can swear on what that what I experienced was genuine horror. A fear which in my life, I'm glad to say, has never been equaled. I will retaliate I will relate it to you all now as, as best as I can. Make of it what you will, but I'll be glad to just get it off my chest. This is a plant. Flowers. I'll put these here. Picture of some mountains. This is my brother's room. He told me yesterday to keep out of his uh, the room that we both had shared until then. It's locked, stupid. Uh, it's locked. Stupid bro. This is my father. Nothing special about him. Shoes. Not very interesting. Picture of a man standing around. I think it's dad when he was younger. I can't remember exactly when it started, but my apprehension, apprehension towards falling asleep seemed to correspond with me being moved into a room of my own. This is my mother. Nothing special about her either. Jeez. You got nothing to say about any of these people? No character building? Just some kid that fucking hates a knight. Nothing too interesting. Mom told me not to touch her stuff. Especially this stuff. Careful, you might find her vibrator. This is the bed. Box is full of stuff. Ventilation, I think Mom said this is. A man with a mustache. Just a bunch of clothes in here. Alright, so let's exit the room. I was eight years old. I was eight years old at the time, and until then I had a shared room, quite happily with my older brother. As is perfectly understandable for a boy of fifteen or five years my senior, my brother eventually wished for a room of his own as a result. I was given the room at the back of the house. As my brother was given a new bed, I was given the bunk beds, which we used to share. While I was upset about sleeping on my own, I was excited at the thought of being able to sleep in the top bunk, which seemed far more adventurous to me. So, this game apparently is really good and really fucking scary. So, I think we'll like it. This is right up our fucking alley. Alright, bedtime. Already? Yes, adults need their sleep. You see? You'll be sleeping alone for the first time. You excited? Yes, Mom. See where this dream takes us, eh? Alright, I'm turning off the lights. Good night now. Good night. I'm just gonna raise the volume of the game. Kind of the match. I don't like that fucking drone. Oh, this is fucking creepy because I also have my fucking window 
open. Yeah, I have a couple saves here already. I got up to like chapter two. But everything after this is gonna be a surprise to me. I've only played through a little bit. Yeah, this does seem a bit iffy. A small water hole. The water is dirty. Probably not a good idea to drink it. My saves were from when I wussed out yes last stream. <laughs> when no one was with me in the stream. What the fuck are you? Seriously, what the fuck are you? I find some ragged cloth. I wonder what's cooking. Um. Who the fuck are you? Stalking is such a strong word. I prefer to think of it as more intense research on one individual. By the way, your missing sock is under the bed with me. Just kidding. Motherfucker. A cold, unwelcoming breeze comes from the bottom of the stairs. I'm gonna stay up here for a minute. Remember, if I'm stalking you, it's intense research on an individual. And it's totally not stalking. Oh, wait, my mouse is in the way. My bad. Jeff made you jelly? How the fuck did you do that? A cold, unwelcoming breeze comes from the bottom of the stairs. Don't like that drone. What is that sound? Oh, oh god, did you see in the left corner? Even though I've been through this fucking chapter, it still scares the shit out of me. Fuck this. Fuck that. Fuck everything to do with this. Can you see why I kind of wussed out the first time? It's this way. Whoa, shit, I can go up here. Nope. Nothing up here worth noting. Oh, fuck you. No, 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 no. Oh, this fucking puzzle. Apparently this is a puzzle horror game. And there we go, I passed it. Cause I remember the fucking puzzle combination. And by watching you in a scary tiny tiny Okay, I'm gonna have to... You know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna keep it in, because... That sounds exactly like him. <laughs> God damn it! Things don't really scare me anymore? Well, good for you, but I'm a fucking pussy. <laughs> yeah, you can go fuck yourself. Ain't giving you a cool. Fuck you. Now, you know what? I have a mask and my hat right here. If you do this the proper way, I'm gonna throw up my. Throw my left camera. One second. One sec, I need to remove this. God damn it. One second. We're gonna do this properly with my, with my mask. Do the capture. Give me just one sec. Go. Alright, so we can go through this fuck shit together. There we go. Ugh. 
Okay. It won't kill you? Yeah, it won't kill you, but it won't make me not sleep at night, because... Fucking overactive imagination. Oh. Plus, I have my window open. Anyone could just come into my fucking room. And scare the absolute shit out of me. Why is it shaking? Um, no. No, 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 no. Everything's getting red. Oh! No, 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 no. I don't like whatever the fuck you want. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, God, it's so many faces. I like saying boo. Don't fucking boo me. I will shit myself. Not really. <laughs> Mom! I had a bad dream. Mom! Alright. Can't I go this way? No need to go here right now. Straight to mother. I'll scare you. You'll scare me IRL? Please don't. I mean, I don't really care, but it's... It's more of a fucking... Ah, whatever. Mom, I had a bad dream. Sweetie, what's wrong? I had a bad dream. Aw, oh, that's too bad, sweetie. I'll be up in a minute and we can eat breakfast together. Alright, hurry up. Go change into your clothes and I'll be right there. And just like that, chapter one is done. And this is the chapter where I pussied out. The second one. And so another day started. It was a day of little importance to our story. I won't be bothering you with details. The one thing I remember is that even though I played with friends like I always did, I somehow still felt lonely. I didn't enter my new room until later that night. It was time to go to sleep again. One thing I noticed is that you can actually move in the bed. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. And then I go right to sleep. Yep. Fuck you, game. This is actually the one that scared the shit out of me. And I'll, you'll see why in a minute. So, I believe this was the combination. Yeah. Yeah, I am making fun of me being scared. My god, do I hate it. You'll see why in a second. Oh god, I already see it a little bit. Yeah, fuck that. No. You can't help but fucking... Look at it either. Because it's literally on the fucking screen. Yeah, it's a face. You see, I have an overactive imagination. So I'm going to be seeing that at night for like another three days after this. Oh, motherfucker. Plus, it's using a technique that's actually used in psychology. Where if you look at an image long enough, it'll actually engrave into your mind. Especially if you see on the side. And so, fuck that. Fuck that. Oh, fuck you. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. When you awaken from a deep sleep to something moving or stirring, 
It can take a few moments for you to truly understand what is happening. The fog of sleep hangs over your eyes and ears, even when, even when lucid. Something was moving. There was no doubt about that. At first, I wasn't sure what it was. Everything was dark, almost pitch black. But there was enough light creeping in from the outside to outline that room. Two thoughts appeared in my mind almost simultaneously. The first was that my parents were in bed, because the rest of the house lay both in darkness and silence. The second thought turned into noise, a noise which had obviously awoken me. That it was, bed sheets rustling in the dark and someone breathing. As if some disturbed sleeper was attempting to get all too comfortable in the bottom bunk. I lay there in disbelief, thinking that the noise was either my imagination, or perhaps my pet cat finding somewhere comfortable to spend the night. It was then that I noticed my door, shut as it was, or had been as I had fallen asleep. Perhaps my mom had checked in on me, and the cat sneaked into my room then. Yeah, that must have been it. I turned my face to the wall, closing my eyes in vain hope that I could fall back asleep. As I moved, the rustling noise from underneath me ceased. I thought it must have disturbed my cat, but I quickly realized a visitor in the bottom bunk was much less mundane than a, my pet trying to sleep. Much more sinister. As if alerted and disgruntled by my presence, the disturbed sleeper began to toss and turn violently, like a child having a trauma in their bed. I could hear the sheets twist and turn with increasing ferocity. Fear then gripped me, not like the subtle sense of unease that I had experienced earlier, but now potent and terrifying. My heart raced as my eyes panicked, scanning the almost impenetrable darkness I let out a cry. As most young boys did, I instinctively shouted out on my mother, I could hear something stirring on the other side of the house. As I began to breathe a sigh of relief that my parents were coming to save me, the bunk bed started to shake violently as it ripped by an earthquake, scraping against the wall. You could hear the sheets below me crashing around as if tormented by mad malice. I did not want to jump down to safety as I feared that thing in the bottom bunk would reach out and grab me, pulling me into the darkness, so I stayed there. White knuckles clenching my own blanket like a shroud of protection. The wait seemed like an eternity. Is it safe? Okay, that part wasn't scary. It was more... What was... The face before got me a bit more than this. What's wrong? Did you have a bad dream? I cried and my mother consoled me. Tears of fear followed by relief streamed down my face. Yet, through all the horror and relief, I did not tell her why I was so upset. I cannot explain it, but it was as... Though whatever had been in that bunk would return even if I even so much as spoke of it. Yes, you did scare me. And hey, Demon Wolf. Tell Squeakers I said thanks. I'm gonna be working while I send the call. Alright, I got you. Whether that was the truth, I did not know, but as a child, I felt that as. I felt as if the unseen menace remained close, listening. My mother lay in the empty bunk, promising to stay there until morning. I remember the next day wanting to go anywhere, be anywhere, but in that suffocating room. It was Saturday and I played outside, quite happily with my friends. Although our house was not large, we were lucky to have a long sloping garden in the background. We often, we played there often, as much as it was overgrown and we could hide in the bushes. Climb in the huge sycamore tree which towered above all else and easily imagine ourselves in the throes of the grand adventure. Oh no. As fun as it all was, occasionally my eye would turn to that small window in my room. Ordinary, slight, and innocuous. But for me, that thin boundary was a looking glass into a strange, cold pocket of dread. Outside, the lush, green surroundings of our garden filled with the smiling faces of my friends. Inside, the feeling of something in that room watching me play, waiting for the night when I would be alone, eerily filled with hate. 
It may sound strange to you, but by the time my parents ushered me back into that room for the night, I said nothing. I didn't protest. I didn't even make an excuse as to why I couldn't sleep there. I still felt that this thing would be enraged if I so much as spoke of it. And the night came. Thank you, Len. Okay, let's see. Alright, everything from this point on is new to me. A banner on a long pole. It's too old and torn out to make out details. A huge skull. Um, okay, so... The door is firmly shut. Satan. Satan, Satan! Okay. Um... Huge skull, its eyes are starting to glow. Um... I see no difference. As I said, it's Satan! Still see no difference. Oh, it's blinking faster and faster and faster. And the mirrors are just getting darker. Also, I'm looking at my screen over there because it's actually I can actually see more over there than on my actual computer. Screen. Um, what? Some kind of machine. Hello? It's talking to me. Why is it talking to me? You're confused. I'm confused. Some kind of altar. Um, okay. Oh, I don't like you. I picture some kind of green landscape. Picture is in too bad shape to make out any details. Are you? How are you? Oh, you motherfucker, I don't like you. A large fan circulating in the stuffy air. I don't like any of this. Am I the virgin sacrifice? I'm gonna be occasionally looking over on my TV screen over here because I can see things better. So it looks almost like the lights on the runway at the airport. Okay. Nothing. Okay. This ain't too bad. I'm gonna regret saying that in a second. Alright, so I need to... I need to hit all these switches. Okay, so it's... I don't feel like it's too bad at the moment. Yes, I am the- I guess I am the virgin sec- Damn it, how'd they know I'm a virgin? Okay, so now I'm more confused than anything. Where am I going? Nothing. Um. Can't go that way.
Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, can't go that way. I'm on the other side of the altar. So, let's see. I can't... Wait a minute. Can I get out of this spot? Maybe? Yeah. My bad. Okay, so, maybe to the right? Why is a kid like me having fucking nightmares like this shit? A creepy mask. Oh, there's a face. There's a face. Yeah, that's a face. I have these things imprinted into my mind. So that's why I'm like covering my eyes. I did when I was like, what you doing? You Whoa, why are you here? Why is the creepy mask there? You can call me a pussy all you like, but I'm protecting my fucking sanity at night. Okay, I know where I need to go. Have scary dreams? Oh, we all had scary dreams. I remember some of mine were fucking vivid as shit for a little kid. Okay, this isn't it, but I know where another one is. It's the top left corner. I have another horror game I can play later. Oh my god, it's fucking hot in here. Okay. Can't do this anymore. Need that fan. Oh. <sighs> Need that fan to cool me down. There was a guy there? What? Wait a second, where? No clue what you're talking about. I mean, I didn't see him. Down? Alright, let's go down. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh shit, yeah, there he is. I have no clue why the fuck he's there. I don't like it. I don't like this one bit. I'm okay with a decent amount of horror. But there's one thing I can't really handle too well. Oh, you motherfucker. You motherless goat whore. Actually, this might be exactly what I'm fucking fighting, the goat man. Devil behind himself. I'm wet, I'm fucking sweating. You're still there, why are you still there? I'm go this way. Oh god, where are you? Oh, you scared the fucking asshole. You fucking asswipe. Ugh. Here should be free now.
That was cute? What was cute? Okay, all the way down should be uncovered now. Oh, it's a lot more bloody. just happened <laughs> it's fun it's funny how certain words can remain hidden from your mind no matter how blatant or obvious they are one word came to me that night lying there in the darkness alone frightened aware of a rotting change in the atmosphere a thinking of the air a thinking of the air as if something had displaced it as I heard the first casual twist from the bed sheets below first anxious increase of my heartbeat for the realization that something was once again in the bottom bunk. That word. A word that had, which had been sent to exile. Filtered up through my consciousness. Bringing free of all repression. Gasping for air. Screaming. Etching. Carving itself on, into my mind. Ghost. As this thought came to me, I noticed that my unwelcome visitor had ceased moving. That sheets lay calm and dormant, but they had been replaced by something far more hideous. A slow, rhythmic, rasping breath that even escaped from the thing below. I could imagine its chest rising and falling with each sort wheezing and garbled breath. I shuddered and hoped beyond all hope that it would leave without occurrence. The house lay as it had the previous night. In a thick blanket of darkness, silence prevailed all. Sorry, my bad. <clears throat> silence prevailed, but all but for the perverted breath of my as yet unseen bunkmate. I lay there terrified. I just wanted this thing to go, to leave me alone. What did it want? Then something unmistakably chilling happened, or transpired. It, it moved. It moved in a way different from before. When it threw itself around the bottom bunk, it seemed unrestrained, without purpose. Almost animalistic. For that thing lying there in the darkness, that thing which seemed intent on terrorizing a young boy, calmly and nonchalantly stood up. His labored breathing had become louder. Not only a mattress, Few flimsy wooden slats separated my body from the unearthly breath below. I lay there, my eyes filled with tears. A fear which mere words cannot relate to you. Or anyone else occurred in my or anyone else coursed through my veins. I would not have believed that this fear could have been heightened if I was so wrong. Imagine what this thing would look like, sitting there listening from below my mattress. Hoping to catch the slightest hint that I was awake. <laughs> Imagination then turned into a living reality. I began to touch the wooden slats with my mattress sat on. I seemed to caress them carefully, running what I imagined to be fingers and hands across the surface of the wood. Then, with great force, it prodded angrily between the two slats into the mattress, even though the padding, even though, even through the padding it felt as though someone had viciously stuck their fingers into my side. I felt, I let out an almighty cry and the reason, shaking, and the moving thing in my bunk bed replied, in time by violently vibrating the bunk as it had done the night before. Small flakes of paint powdered onto my bed from the wall as the flame of the bed scraped along its backwards and forwards. Once again I was bathed in light, and there stood my mother, loving, caring as she always was, with a comforting hug and calming words which eventually subdued my hysteria. Of course she asked what was wrong, 
but I could not say. I dared not say. I simply said one word over and over and over again. Nightmare. Holy shit! Alright, so I'm going to stop and restart the recording here. Because I want to split this into shorter episodes. So, I'll be right back for those who are watching the video. It might be another day or two. It'll be, it'll literally just be a second for everyone else. So, 